Hi YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to show you guys in this video how I do Chrome. Um, so first things first, I've had it set for about a month. I'm super tired of looking at it. So instead of soaking it off, I decided to just do a fill in and do like a really quick cute Chrome set. So I'm just getting rid of all of this white gel polish. Um, just to make sure you just drill it completely off. And then once I do that, I go straight into my prep. First thing I do is instantly push my cuticles back as far as they will go. Um, and then I go in with the cuticle drill bit and then just drill away all that extra dead skin stuff. Um, and then also I cut my cuticles. I feel like it's super important. I never do a set or anybody set without cutting my cuticles because I feel like it just brings the set together. And it just, you know, makes it look super cute. So after that, I go in with a drill sanding bit and I just make sure I just make sure my nails are super smooth and really ready for that acrylic that I'm gonna use. Um, and then for I know I'm like kind of skipping a little bit ahead, but for my prep, I also use the dehydrator and the protein bond from Valentino I've been using this for about six months it, it really works and I just like to use these until I feel like I want to try something else so these those two things really work well for me um, and then I also go in with a nude acrylic from Valentino as well it's in the color perfect nude and this is like my go-to color I just feel like it's universal you can use it with anything French any type of nail art it goes well with any color I use this on all of my clients as well um, also this video is not sponsored like nothing I do is sponsored as of yet at least so everything I use I've been using for a long time because I really like it just a little FYI um, so yeah this is the dehydrator and the primer that I'm talking about I go in with the dehydrator first and then I go in right after that with the primer and then yeah I use this monomer that I get from my like local I get it from Cosmoprof because I don't like to order monomer I just go through it too fast this is the uh, acrylic that I use and yeah I'm just gonna do a quick fill and I'll be right back when it's time to do the chrome Alright, so make sure you're 
brushing away all that extra dust and then I'm gonna go in with the clear top coat I feel like this is so important um, always go in with the clear top coat or some kind of base when you are about to do your nail art because it'll just let it'll allow your art to go on really smooth um, if you don't do this the gel polish will like kind of settle on the cracks of the acrylic and then it won't look your lines won't look straight at all um, so that's really important I'm now going to go on with this black Valentino polish. You can use any black that you have. I just use this one because it's what I have at the moment. And I use a line art brush and I do a really skinny French. I leave my French at the tip of the nail. I just like mine to be very thin. I really, I'm not really into like the traditional French anymore. So I do my French extremely skinny and I leave it at the tip of the nail. Very important when you do chrome though. You guys, you can't you have to dry it only for about 30 to maybe 45 seconds nothing more than that because if you dry the color completely the crown won't be able to stick to the nail so super important only dry your any color you use it doesn't have to be black whatever I just use black because I feel like it just lets the color be like the chrome really pop any color you use under your chrome even if it's a clear you can only dry it for like no more than 30 seconds depending on the color like I know for black it takes a little longer so I typically do 40 to 45 seconds for the black polish the clear I typically do about 10 maybe 15 because clear uh, gel does dry faster than black gel polish so that is a most important part when you're doing chrome I think because you want your chrome to like stick to the nail if it's too dry then it just simply won't stick so make sure you guys are keeping that in mind so I'm gonna go in with this silver I got a 25 pack of chrome pigments from Amazon it comes like all types of colors that I don't even need but I got a 25 pack and I want to take this eyeshadow brush thing in and just go into the nail make sure you just make sure your goal is to keep it on the back because it will go on the nail and it is kind of hard to remove so try to keep it just on the gel polish area and then after that you go in with the clear and then I know I'm speeding up because the video is about to end but you go in with the clear after this make sure when you use a clear it's not the one that you use for everyday use because the clear brush will pick up the pigment from the chrome and then your brush is ruined and then you have to use a whole nother clear for any other set or glitter will be in all of your sets so yeah this is the final look thank you for watching my videos and stay tuned because more videos are coming